Hi YouTube, uh, it's nearly a year, so happy new year in a day or two, or the past day or two. It depends when I upload this video, doesn't it? Oh well, happy new year. So my lovely wife Claire bought me this for Christmas. It's something I had before. Uh, you've probably guessed what it is from the name underneath the video. But I thought I'd do an unboxing, the building, and then give it a play with, see how good it is. Uh, oh, I better get, I'm pointing at it, you can't even see it, can you? Hang on, oh, it weighs a ton. So, uh, oh. this is it. It's a full bore, 750 watt, 305 mil throat, it's two speed. Anyway, let's get on the floor, let's get a knife and let's open it up and see what's in the box, shall we? Oh. Fair size bed, nice angle holder, seems pretty solid. I'm hoping that's a vacuum accessory. Yeah, the measure rule that probably goes on the front. Oh, might a guide, might slide. Oh. The lock arm. Oh, nice push stick. Yeah, another sliding guy. That thing we never read. But I probably will this time. I think that's the stand. Yeah, that's probably the stand. Bags of fitting, bolts and more Allen keys. Another bit to the guide. Oh, that weighs some, which is not a bad sign actually. So, let's put the stand together, but first we're going to need a table, like magic. Okay. So, stands put together. No. Pretty stable. The question is, can I lift that onto there without killing myself or breaking it? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that was really bad. Oh. Okay, another bag of bolts. So, pencils on the stand. It's not that it's super heavy, but it's an awkward thing to pick up. The weight is all balanced off this corner, and there's a bit of weight here because of the steel support. So far, yeah, it's a pretty solid. It's well put together. I can't see anything that jumps out and screams badly made. My only one complaint is Normally you have three bearings, two that push against the blade, one that holds the blade front to back when you push against it. 
this has only got one bearing each and it's just got these flat little metal rods that push against the blade yeah we'll see how it goes i prefer the bearings it's really easy to tension get the blade set right all, all it's about one stop the blade moving back and forth and side to side left to right when you're cutting but also you the teeth are offset slightly and the gullet in the blade you want everything to run behind that gullet because if you run the bearings against it or it runs dead center on the inside of the wheel it's going to flatten those teeth and then it just becomes a sharp blade so when you go to cut something it's not going to want to cut through it it's just going to want to track and it's going to keep trying to move through the easiest part of whatever you're cutting and that's what all this is to do it's just to keep the blade tensioned set straight and as you cut through it just stays as a vertical blade so yeah i'll show you the parts and then we'll put the rest of the stuff on and start cutting some wood and see how it goes well first get the blade on the wheel we'll get that on we'll get the blade tensioned and then adjust these so the blade is held in a perfect position and put the rest of the stuff on this is how the blade is run this pulley if you can see it has a rubber yeah and that's domed you want that as close to behind the gullet of this blade as possible once you got that so it runs like this is starting to want to come off the pulley it's getting closer to the edge once you got it where you want it running on this dome which you don't want to flatten these teeth that's all it's about so i'm going to position that so it's center would be about here on the center of the wheel and then we'll tension the blade which is pretty easy to do you just use a dial on the top so yeah i'm going to get the blade in position and i'll show you where i've got it once i've done it this is the adjuster for the blade the wheel back and forth so I've got the blade, you can see all the teeth, the gut, gullet, I like calling it the gut, but it's a gullet. About here is the center. It could go back a little bit more, but I'm quite happy with that. So now it's blade tension, which is done with this. So the tension at the moment is pretty loose so all you want or I do with the blade tension is you want the blade to deflect I don't know quarter inch five mil without having to put too much pressure on it that feels you can just see the blade but I don't have to put a lot of a lot of pressure would push it right over actually I'm gonna give it a tiny bit more yeah so it just needs to deflect a bit when you touch it check it's still running where we want it yet yeah, still and that that's pretty much it for blade tension and blade position okay next I think probably have to put the bed on before we do guide alignment I'm not sure I will check that uh, instruction manual okay so yeah let's do the blade guides So we want this block which moves back and forth. You can just see it moving the blade. So there, the bearing's not turning, but I mean a tiny amount of pressure on the blade. 
and it locks into that roller. Check it again. Nothing. Tiny bit of tension. So these what I want, I know what I'll use. So this is a feeler gauge that you use on cars for points, spark plug gaps, just bits of metal in different thicknesses. So this is 0.5 of a mil. I will put it in there. I can just feel tension as it goes through between the pen. I'm not putting pressure on it, I'm just putting enough pressure that it holds. And it means I can pull that out. And that's the same. And there you go. But if I put my finger on it, it turns. These have got a five mil gap. 0.5 mil of it. Yep. yep. So that's the top one done. So, not, like I said, it's not the best guide system. I bet a lot of bandsaws are like it, but I'm used to three bearings on top and bottom. Keep the blade in position, but this should work. It's not like it's going to be running all day, every day. So, let's put the table on. There's a pen here, which must be a blade stopper. We'll just do that. And this should now This goes there. Forty-five, dead on. It's not bad actually. Okay. What's next? Fences, gates, measuring. I hate to say, I just did all this once and I hadn't switched the cameras on, I was so excited. 
So let's find another bit of wood to cut up. We'll have a go. We'll try the fence first. See how square it is. And then I'm going to do some curves. I'll try the mitre piece. Quite a nice cut. Blade's not tracking, it's staying dead straight. So, so far, so good as they say. So let's take this off. Let's put I'll try a 45, which is there. Okay. Yeah, let's try some shapes. There's a little bit of burning on the outside of that curve, but I, I, I tried pushing it around a bit much. It's quite a thick blade. So even with the blade guide fully up, fence as close as I'd want to put it, you could cut veneer, no problem. That is pretty thin. Even all the way along. Yeah, okay. I like the band saw. So yeah, that, that's the video really. Uh, once you've got a band saw adjusted, yeah, it's still doing it, just touch it and I can see the bearing moving. So that's me building it. Uh, what did I say about it? One, it, it's pretty solidly built. For a cheap home hobbyist bandsaw, you know, it's not a professional bandsaw. It's not as cheap as the little Ryobis and things. My only complaint is I would have preferred three bearings on the top guide and the bottom guide. But as you've seen, it seems to cut perfectly fine. 
the blade tracks fine it cuts squares fine it cuts really thin so yeah what would I change on the bandsaw at the moment nothing I might put my own base on it so I can put all the fittings and things on a shelf make a wooden base on rollers I can roll it around the workshop uh, attach some kind of light so you can see what you're doing with the blade so yeah conclusion for what it costs you know a solid table the blade tracks straight all the time Did, couldn't hear any noise of it rubbing or anything no it's uh, my new favorite tool saves how to use the drop saw to cut long bits of wood and turn it round and so anyway that's the new bandsaw hope you enjoyed hope 21 is better than 20 for you and see you in the next one